find out or not? We'll find out. I think I have any choice but to climb on this. I don't want to do that. Oh. Okay. It's about as far up as I can go. reach that one without moving the ladder. Let's see if we can get to others.
Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, trying to get all this uh, metal down on the roof. I don't know if I'll get it all done today or not. Today's Groundhog's Day and pretty sunshine, so that means here in Kentucky we're going to have six more weeks of bad weather, of winter. Well, the truth is, you have six weeks of winter regardless because it goes to March the 20th. Anyway, so I've got to get up here and get these screwed down. Now, the problem is, is that this is three foot wide, three foot wide metal. My braces are two feet on center, okay, up here. The braces, the rafters are two feet on center. So the first sheet of metal goes down and it overhangs a foot, so it basically hits right on that rafter. Okay, the first one. So it's easy to get, because you're right beside it, you can reach over three feet and put all your screws in without a problem. But when you put the second sheet on, it pushes everything over, so you've got about a hole, about a little better than a foot, a little better than a foot to try and climb up through. Well, I'm too big to get through that little hole. All right? Just too big. That's the way it is. So I have to reach four feet over in order to put that last screw in. Well, that don't work. Uh, so I'm having to climb up on the purlins to reach that last screw. Which, you know, that's just what it is. Uh, yeah, I don't like doing that. You know, I'm not as agile as I used to be, but uh, I want to get this done. The roof is plenty strong enough to support me. The metal is not strong enough to support me. So I have to be on a purlin. And I would prefer to be on a purlin on a rafter. But the way that sticks over, it's a foot past the rafter. Okay? So, yeah. So, anyway, uh, I'm putting the metal on. Y'all come along for the ride. Get it in the flashing. Oh, it's okay. That hurts.
Okay. Ready for more tan. That's got it all. Now I've left two, two in that one that the flashing's not fastened down to, but that'll be fine if I leave two ribs. Okay. Now set my drill over here. Go move my ladder. Go put it up from the other end. Oh.
So much easier when they're like that. Okay. Three foot's going to come to about there, so put this over here. Ow. I'll have to move the ladder off.
Okay, that's where I'm going to have to call it today. Uh, it is uh, clouded up and the wind started blowing. I assume we've got a cold front moving through. Uh, it's not supposed to rain today, but uh, I went to put up that fourth sheet of tin and it just basically almost blew me down. So I didn't put that on video. Uh, or I won't include it in video. I've got video of it. might make a short out of it. Anyway, it almost blew me down. So, yeah, I'm going to have to stop it there today. But it's just as well. Uh, today's mine and Crystal's anniversary. 39 years. So, I need to stop and get ready and go take her for a, a nice meal. Now, me, my favorite restaurant is Taco Bell. Leave it in the comments what your favorite restaurant is. I'm not dumb enough to take her to Taco Bell for our 39th anniversary. Okay? Tell me where you'd take your spouse. Now, if you like this stuff, this homesteading, do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homesteading stuff every week, sometimes once, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. Now, if you hit the little bell when you come to the channel, it'll be right up here. It's free to subscribe and hit the bell. It'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Now, with that being said, time for me to get on to the next thing.